quilty friends, I'm Natalia Bonner. Today we'll be stitching with my 4-in-1 and my trailer machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching! I'll begin by using my blue Mark Be Gone marker and marking marks along the bottom points on my triangle. So I'm measuring over two inches to mark each of those points. From there, I'll begin stitching in the lower left corner. From there, I'll stitch along the bottom of the block to the marked point. Using my trailer machine quilting ruler, I'll adjust my ruler so that I can stitch a straight line from that marked point to the top of my triangle. Notice here that I'm lining my trailer up with that top, lining the notch on the trailer up with that top corner, and then adjusting as I get close to that point so that my trailer helps me intersect the top of my design perfectly. From that point, I'll adjust my trailer machine quilting ruler and repeat the same process, stitching back down to the opposite marked blue point. Then I'll switch to my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. I'll line my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler up, the markings on the 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, the center inside marking is a 45 degree angle. So you'll notice that I'm lining that up with the bottom of the block to create 45 degree angle lines. From there, I'll stitch a first line and then move over along my ditch a half an inch before I stitch a ne the next parallel line. I'll travel along my previous stitch line, but always lining my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler up so that the stitching is right underneath my half inch marking. You'll notice that I left the small corner at the bottom open and I'll go back down to that and fill it in last. After I've filled in that completely, then I'll move back over to that new inside smaller triangle in the center of the block and stitch new diagonal lines. Each of those lines will be a half an inch from the previous line. So I'm lining the markings on my four in one machine quilting ruler up so that the first half inch marking on my ruler intersects the previous stitch line and then I'll stitch right up to the top point on that block. Spritz away those markings and you've got a beautiful design. I hope you enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow.